welcome back to Fox 33's Extra Point. Welcome back to the Buffalo Wild Wings Extra Point. Last year, the Bird Yellow Jackets didn't exactly have a Yellow Jackets kind of year. Finishing 5-5 five and five and falling in the first round of the playoffs. But last Thursday night, they looked like the Bird teams of the past. Running by Calvary in a game that was never really close. We already heard from Charlie Barham, who punched it into the end zone four times. But the Jackets now turn their attention to a very good Bishop Dunn team in the battle on the border. A team that took care of Evangel on Duran Field last Friday night. A well, very good football team, you know, uh, they came in town and did something not many people can do and that's beat Evangel at Evangel and, uh, you know, a lot of speed, a lot of talent all over the field, uh, you know, they're well coached, uh, they play they play well in every phase of the game, it's going to be a tall task for us, they've got Division One players all over the field, got great size and tremendous speed. Bird and Bishop done in the battle on the border on Saturday night at Independence Stadium kickoff. Set for 7 o'clock. The Parkway Panthers are coming off a little bit of a rough season as well, dealing with several key injuries to key players in 2017. Well, the Panthers started off 2018 with a bang. Topping BTW 43 nothing last Friday night. Now, the Panthers getting a week off this weekend to prep for Pulaski Academy out of Arkansas. Coach May saying getting off on the right foot last weekend was huge for the Panthers. Oh man, you know, we work all off season and the only thing we keep on our mind is week one. You know, it's really not about the scrimmage, it's not about the jamboree. It's all about getting to that week one game that counts. And our guys did a fine job. We, uh, we ended it early, got the young kids in, and now we're getting ready for the next one. Parkway not back at it until September 14th when they play host to Pulaski Academy. Kickoff for that game set for 7 o'clock. And that brings us to our game changer play. The Haughton Buccaneers are coming off a big opening game win over rival Minden. The first play of the second quarter was the turning point in this one. Gavin Rowe got to the quarterback and caused a fumble. And then Dylan Frazier picked it up and rumbled 99 yards the other way for a score. Yeah, I mean, that was a huge play. You go from, you know, it's about to be 7-7 seven to seven and, and uh, you look up and then it's 14 to nothing. But, you know, a lot of things happen there. We throw... I think the pick, and, and we did a great job. C.J. McWilliams chasing him down and tackling him at like the three-yard line, and then you know we stopped him on first and second down to force the third and goal, and then we made the big play there. So you know a lot of guys contributed to that, and a lot of that is forgotten. And you just think about the one play, but there were a few plays before that that set that up. But yeah, it was a huge play in the game. The Bucks return home on Friday night when they play host to BTW kickoff. Set for 7 o'clock from Harlan Stadium. The Pleasant Grove Hawks started right where they left off in 2017, in the win column. The Hawks taking it to Paris on the road Friday night. The competition, though, ramps up a little bit this week as PG welcomes Henderson to Hawk Stadium. Yeah, really excited to be playing at home. You know, after our playoff run last year, played six games on the road in the playoffs and then start off this season on the road. and. Or we're going to be fired up to, to play in front of our home fans and, and get back at the Hawk Stadium. I think our, our fans you know, expect us and, and want us to stay on top, and so do our kids and coaches. And so there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of internal pressure that, that you put on yourselves when, when you're successful, and that's the way it should be. The Hawks play host to Henderson on Friday night up there in Texarkana. Kickoff set for 7.30. That brings us to the top teams in the Arklatex. Each week, we select the top six teams from all three states, and we have a familiar team at the top. Here are the top six teams in the Arklatex. Number six, the Pleasant Grove Hawks. The Hawks stay in the rankings after a 30-10 win on the road at Paris on Friday night. The defense, impressive to say the least, forcing four turnovers and scoring a touchdown. Number five, the Bird Yellow Jackets. The Jackets enter this week's rankings after a dominant performance against formerly number six, Calvary. This game was never close. Charlie Barham scoring four touchdowns in the 35 to eight victory. Number four, the Arkansas High Razorbacks. The Hogs enter the rankings after back-to-back -back impressive wins against good teams. A dominant performance last week over Shiloh Christian and then a decisive 20-6 win over Liberty Ilo this past Friday. The Razorbacks could be dangerous when they get into 5A conference play. Number three, the Marshall Mavericks. 
The Mavericks came away with a decisive win over Tyler Lee on Friday night. J.J. Green passed for 314 yards and accounted for six Maverick touchdowns. Number two, the Northwood Falcons. The Falcons move up two spots this week after a dominant performance over North Caddo Friday night. Wide receiver Trayon Jones accounted for three touchdowns in the win, one receiving, one on a kick return, and he also threw for a touchdown. Number one, the Carthage Bulldogs. The Bulldogs picked up right where they left off last season, scoring 61 points in a win over Jacksonville. The Dogs started fast, scoring 20 points in the first seven minutes of the game and never looked back. Gunner Caps, 166 yards and two touchdowns through the air. And there you have it, the top six teams in the Arklatex. If you think your team got snubbed, log on to arklatexhomepage.com and click on sports. We have a top six poll for each individual state on the website. Coming up with the Buffalo Wild Wings Extra Point, we preview a big matchup between Grambling and Northwestern State. Plus, we check in on the LSU Tigers. All that and more coming up next.